Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kemi and you're watching Sincerely KSO. If it is your first time to my channel, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back, my darlings. We are going to be watching <laughs> Friday the 13th, part three from 1982. It was requested by Scott Rooney. Hey, my darling, thank you so much for making this request. <laughs> I'm thanking you from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> no, I'm not. But listen, I, I said I was open and I want to remain open as I do these reactions, regardless of what it is. Uh, I'm sure by now you would have watched my, because uh, you're a patron member and you've watched uh, The Conjuring. And listen, when I tell you, huh, huh. I don't know how ready I am. I, I was expecting the horrors to come in October, but a number of you are getting an early start. Like, what is happening? Okay, so let's get into it. Scott is a patron to this channel. He's been a wonderful one. I'm going to put a reminder to insert the pictures you sent me. Yes, because she sent me some really beautiful pictures. I'm going to put it here even as I'm talking um of you meeting some of the actors and i always love it when you do that you are a star scott you are a star almost every movie you sent me or made a request to you've somehow met the actors you 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 know you're so generous with your time and your support of the movies that you love it's one of the things the many things i like about you and i really i'm sure I'm grateful to have you in my life and I'm sure there are there are people who who feel the same way about you. So thank you so much for just being here. Um if you would like to watch full length reactions of my reactions, <laughs> head over to Patreon on every tier gets you a reaction of some sort. The top tier gets you a film reaction request in addition to the other benefits attached, but know that every tier gets your reaction um we've got a huge list you know um we've already started out with the country like i said maxine 2024 it's out um um what else are we expecting we're expecting willow we're something lighthearted castle in the sky just beautiful miss saigon like we have an amazing um exciting and when i say amazing it's not because i've watched it but you know how sometimes when the person like, makes a request when i'm doing the um the thumbnail i look at the picture and it's filled with so much vibrancy and color so it makes me very expectant the country it wasn't filled with color but i just saw the cover of the Miss saigon and i'm so excited to watch it and um castle in the sky i've watched it was just so beautiful so we've got an amazing lineup and scott is adding Friday the 13th on my birthday month. Scott! <laughs> yes, it's the month of September. It's my birthday month. I am my birthday is September 22nd, if you didn't know. So, yes, Frodo and I have the same birthday in Lord of the Rings. <laughs> okay, let's get into it. I have my ice, which is tradition for me to have. See, I've already started drinking. You can see my lipstick there. So, um, <laughs> yeah, I've got some chicken just in case I need something spicy. I've got um, candy. I try to avoid chocolate, calories, and I'm evading. So I'll just play, play. Yeah. Why, 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 do, why, why do we need that sound? Why, why? Well, someone is already running. Oh, God, you're running for me. Please help me. Jason, mother is talking to you. That's my boy. Come. That's my good boy. It took you so long. Girl, if you don't hit him with that thing right now, I've seen this already before, right? It took your shocked face out of there. Please, 
please. I find it, I, like I said in the previous parts, I've always found it fascinating. He's just been able to survive every sort of physical violence thrown at him, right? You hit someone else with an axe, they die. You hit Jason with an axe, he crawls away. Like, what is what is up with that? It made me feel like there was some sort of supernatural power supporting him, something else, because he definitely just can't be human. You know, do you don't you have those questions, Scott? Like, haven't you thought, listen, are you sure there isn't an episode or a part where they explain why he is able to, to endure that amount of physical violence on his part. I think that there has to be, I don't know, I keep thinking like that, that it can't be. And I felt the same way with Halloween, the one with Jamie Lee Curtis. What what was up with that storyline? With Scream, it's not the same person. It's every every a new monster arises every time. But with these two, Jason Voorhees and um, the guy in Halloween. God damn it, Harold! You're now Tony DeMarcus. Brutal and heinous crime in local history. Police Chief Scott See, Fitzsimmons really had no con strewn over the four square mile campground in the remote lake region. The names of the eight victims are being withheld until notification of. That's the guy. I swear. Take what's yours and leave the rest for me to do. What's the matter, Lionel? Aren't you hungry? They fly eggs. <coughs> and the catch is in here, she's gonna make a fur coat out of you. <laughs> yeah. huh? But still, I don't want them to kill you. It's not a crime to like food. Didn't I feed you enough for supper? The doctor said you have to lose weight now, didn't he? And would you put that filthy animal back where it belongs? Come on. Hey, 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 what you so nervous about, huh? Now where's that other needle? That it? Someone's taking the other needle to stab somebody. What else? Jason has taken the other needle to snap. Oh, did you wipe your hand? It's not be behind you. It's not be behind you. Or something like that. I don't know. 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 Sex, you guys are getting boring, you know that? God damn it, Shirley, why do you always have to be such an asshole? Shirley, you're my roommate and I like you. Most of the time. But you gotta quit doing those things. Now I got your date, didn't I? Didn't I? Yeah. Yes? Hi, Mrs. Sanchez, I'm Chris. We've come to pick up Vera. What are you looking at? Is everything all right? Is that all you two are gonna do this weekend? Smoke dope? Why not, man? Is there a lot? That's what happens when you're pregnant. Hmm. Sure, why not? And that little thing? Stick around. You'll see. Destroy the evidence! Hurry! No way, man! You. Let's go, yes. Chuck! Come on! Chuck, come on! 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 Come Away with you, Chris. Stop the van. What? Stop! What is it? You must be in heaven. What is that? I found this today. Get he wanted me to warn you. Look upon this omen and go back from whence ye came. I have warned thee. I have warned. 
That's why he was in the middle of the road to stop you guys to go to that camp, camp, camp place. He said he told me to warn the Jason always warns though. At the end of the day, when they always come to this camp, he's like he's been warning them. Warning, they never listen. Why don't we take our bags into the house first? Chris, come on down. You go ahead. Mm. I'm going to take my bags in the house first and look around. <laughs> Is someone here? My imagination, or did it just get cold in here? I know it's only been two years, but I feel like I've been away forever. Hello, Rick. How are you? Well, that's a start. Could you just slow down, please? There's only so many cold showers I can take. Oh, God. You know, Chris. Wasn't the store closed a few minutes ago? What did you say? Chris. It's my bag. I'll take care of it. Shelly, what are you doing in there? Why aren't you down at the lake with everybody else? This was my bedroom. It's yours for the weekend. Great. I don't mean to be picky or anything, but uh, where's the bed? A hammock? You might like it. All right. Chris, I don't understand why you guys have so much hay. You don't even have any horses, and you never did. It's my father's idea. You realize, of course, that I gave up an opportunity. <laughs> hey, Chris, I realize I'm just a dumb country boy, and my feelings really don't matter. And now's the time. Yeah, you are. And now's the place, you know what I mean. <laughs> Were you talking to me? <laughs> <laughs> screens what happened what happened what happened is anybody in there who screamed now this thing is beginning to upset me who screamed scream again so we know which direction we're going in uh -uh. tell me hey, all this screaming who's just screams once uh -uh. Isn't screaming a continuous exercise in fear? Don't look at him. Get up. <laughs> I guess I fooled you, huh? Well, yeah, you guys. never mean to. Oh, I gotta get out of here. When it happens for real now, nobody will believe you. Believe you, like the boy who cried wolf. With you, I gotta get out of here too. Oh, that's just his way of getting attention. He doesn't know what happened. It's probably just my imagination. Okay. Hey, how are things with Rick on? We don't accept no food stamps. Excuse you. What is the problem? I'll take that now. Is this your rubber? May I please have the wallet? You mean, that's real nice. Why did that girl say the person that crossed the counter, the cashier, say we don't accept food stamps? Why did she automatically assume that the girl was going to bring food stamps? Are they following us? No. Good. Here, you drive. Uh oh. Oh shit. Oh shit is right. Let's get out of here. What is your problem, sir? What do you want to do with that chain? You did it, you were great! That was great! <laughs> hey, what do you say we go get some exercise? This is all the exercise I need. I'm warning you, Andy. I'll break your string. I wonder what happened to oh. them. What happened to your windshield, man? <laughs> mm -hmm. My poor few minor repairs. They'll be good as new. Where are you going? Away from here. Hey, let's go for a swim. I don't know. Oh, come on. Let's go. I'll grab a couple of towels. I'll see you down there. Maybe we shouldn't do this, Ali. Hey, we gotta even the score, don't we? Go on, let me do it. I know what I'm doing. Something bad, of course. Something bad has to happen, of course. 
Of course, of course, of course. I'm just prepping my mind for the bad news. You're not trying to keep quiet. You want them, everybody to know that you're here. You know? You want everyone to know that you're here. Oh, see someone. Who gave Jason new clothes? I thought that he always likes that dungaree. They're gonna get something. There are too many people to kill in this event. What the hell are you doing? Ali is gonna be pissed he sees you screwing around. Now come on. Where are you You're dead Where are you now. Yes, you too. Okay. Okay. It's my fourth name, Ali. Ali. Okay, very good. I hope you have a little bit more strength than the rest of the others or physical. No, what you mean? You be talking to you? Hmm? Fuck! Shit! Debbie, have a little roll in the hay. Go play with yourself. You better get out of the school for you, please. Tell What do you mean? The quiet can fool you. Fooled me. To prove I'm stronger than I think I am. And then when I do, you put this, this barrier up between us. How do I break through? <laughs> you give up? You out of your mind? No one in their past is missing <clears throat> yet, so they are not aware, but... Several people have died. You really are very good at that. I was thinking that maybe, you know, we could... I don't think... Look, I'm gonna go outside for a few minutes. And then when I get back in, we'll talk. Okay? Call her a Why? She did not <laughs> Oh my god. You kind of have a temper. You lost it the last time with the... Although that guy deserved it because we're kind of bullying you. Then this time you call her because she doesn't want to, you know. How do we do it? Well, first we take our clothes off. I'll think of something. She said something about baby. Mm -hmm. I should have told you everything a long time ago, in but I could not Look, Chris. Everything is so clear in my mind as if it were happening right now. I knew my parents would be waiting for me, but I didn't care. So I decided to hide out all night. I thought I'd get them so worried. I guess I fell asleep. I was sure it was Dad, so I just sat up and I listened for him. I turned around. He had a knife. I kicked the knife out of his hands and I ran. I was kicking and screaming and yelling, but it didn't do any good. I blacked out. When I woke up, I was in my own bed. They act as if the whole thing never happened, but it did. I'll never forget that horrible face. Never. I charged it yesterday. Must not have taken. We're gonna have to walk then. It's okay. Well, you know what? Whenever I've experienced something in like my mind is telling me, let's say I went on an excursion, right? And something happened to me on that excursion. I'm less likely to go on excursions again. If I jumped into the pool and I almost drowned, it's going to take me a while before I decide to go into a lake. You know what I mean? So when she talked about that experience for her, why is she here? Explain it to me. You just had something traumatic happen to you in a place that you went to. Why are you seeking more dark outdoor places to go to? Why? Just explain it to me what you want. Other than you waving a green flag to Jason or to monsters alike or whatever. Hmm. So I'm not the sort of person to do that. Okay, I may scrunch down in my chair from fear. You and your yellow underwear matching your shirt. Yes, I saw. Sorry, 
I didn't mean to. Oh, come on, let's give him some of his own uh, medicine. Wait. Oh no, don't go. Oh my God, pause. Gee, that was intense. You guys, I got so scared. <laughs> scared me i can't lie i can't lie oh my god oh my gosh please please i can't my eyes are tearing up from that oh my god come on let's give him some of his own uh, medicine wait. sir you know, i don't think he's okay. you have nothing on your screen well at least the door is open the barn doors are open careful before you step on something <laughs> I guess he must have left. Come on, let's get out of here. I feel a lot better. I just want you to like me. I do like you. You're wrong. Exactly. Shelly! Don't feel bad about yourself. He feels like overweight, out of place, so he's doing everything he can to get attention, whether it's, you know, positive or negative. He just wants people to notice him. So this is the, this is the map, what he's known for. Mm. He's probably going to get that mask and use it to for the other friends, but they should tell by his physique that it's not him. Oh, I feel so sorry for you, Shelly. Is this the end of Shelly? It's not there. It's not there. Mm. You guys doing something I shouldn't see? Ah! Just make sure the first step isn't too deep. Something's gonna drag her in. What are you doing? It was his mother. His mother was upset. <laughs> start dripping from the top or whatever exactly it always does that it always does that <laughs> what was that noise what i don't know i heard something over there this guy is so careful give me something to scream about oh my goodness <laughs> go down the cellar and check the fuse box no <laughs> with all the salt you're pouring into that popcorn do you know what I find with um, this? I think I'm talking my way to calm me down. Sorry if you think I'm talking too much, okay? I just need to help myself calm down and speaking helps. So it's best to be in the car. Don't you think so? Why aren't you wearing slippers or something? Why? You can't be electrocuted. What if the light fuse or whatever comes on like that? It's crazy. How can you just not wear slippers or something? Chuck, you back already? Nice makeup job. Fight, fight, fight. Fight. Shelly, enough is enough! Andy! Debbie! Girl, look at the way you're crying. Is this how you do it? Girl, 
Girl, you're the, you, you, you die with it. that face of yours is sick. <sighs> oh my god! Oh. I can't get this door open. There's something behind it. Oh, real smart. What's going on here? Andy, Deb, are you guys up there? The apartment looks the same from the previous one. The way he's killing them is almost the same from the previous one. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Rick, wait, I wanna come with you. Yes. Yes. And this your torch isn't doing Rick. enough. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, it's going to break his head. <laughs> Yeah, baby. Stop it right now. Ooh! Where's that coming from? I don't know what kind of game you guys are playing, but I don't like it. Hey, come on, you guys. You're wrecking the house. Rick! Rick is dead. Do you have the car? Oh, the car is stuck somewhere. Oh my god, the car is somewhere. They left the car. Girl, just run. There's no need to go there. There's no need. Just stay on the road. <laughs> the windows and those she, does he want you to lock yourself in so that you don't have any way to, to get out in the year 2024 maxine said the girl needs to save herself <laughs> see a dead body and you'll scream and he'll know that you're there <coughs> he knows you're there now he knows you're there now he knows <coughs> I will see you. <coughs> very good girl what about his axe? Get that axe. Fling yourself through the window. I'm a flinger girl. Toss me. Toss me out. Body and everything. Head, leg first. Anyhow, just... Wait, wait, wait. Look, look to see if he's coming. No. No, no, no. Grab the mask. No. Wear it like that. It's not in your way. Just go. And he's able to come into this. <laughs> You're taking the gas. Oh my god, they're taking the fuel from your car. There's no gas in your car. Please, but take me as far as you can. Yes, idiot. Stay. You should have stayed. Did he break the bridge so that you can't go? Oh my goodness. They t those two fools, those three evil people. Yes, get out of here. Yeah. Set that place on fire. Set it on fire. There's gasoline there. I don't know where you find a match. This guy is huge. Jesus, I remember wasn't that huge. Your neck is thick and everything. I, I, I think maybe. I 
should have waited there. You should have waited right there to like hit him on the head as he was coming up. As he immediately pushed down that hair, you hit him hard. No, no. Girl, you, you are touching this thing. Oh, okay. Stop it, you did it, but you're still locked in there. You might go out and find nothing is hanging on that wall, please. Women always defeat Jason. Careful. Careful, I saw something there. He's there. I saw something there. I saw something. He'll grab me now. <gasps> the same man that tried to kill her there before. No guy, you couldn't have survived that. You were you were pummeled in the face. You were pummeled. Oh, yes, now you're talking. Okay. It's always a leak. There's always a leak somewhere. Oh, she's going to see that um Italian girl, the one whose mom told not to go. This was where she passed. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, you see that in front. Oh, my God, is still. Is it dream? What is going on? She's having... Hallucinating. Oh, stop it now. Stop it now. The mother. What was all that about a lady in the lake? You guys, I was like leaning in my chair like something was going to come get me. Oh my goodness. Oh. Ah. Okay, okay, okay. This, this, this had a lot of jump scares. Yeah, yeah. There were a lot in this one. Yeah. Yeah. But I love how I could tell. I... I don't want to say that I know Jason's killing style and he thinks he has a thing for people in beds or hammocks. Yes. And he also has a thing for stabbing through. You know what I mean? He, I see that he does that. To, oh, oh, why am I predicting his killing style? But I'm just, you know, I noticed that now. Do you, did you notice too? What else do you notice about him? And then I think he's a dangler. And when I say that, I mean like he is. I'm trying to get the ugly look of the mother. They were warm sticking out of her face. But he he's he's a dangler when I say that. You know how you you're like there's a snake and then you're dangling the rat before it so that it you know he likes it when he's the people he's hunting run around. You know? He likes it when they do that. That they run around, that they're scared. You know, he knows he can get them all. He knows he can get them, but he wants them to just keep screaming and running. He has a thing for them running, trying to escape. Dangle them before he finally gets the thing that I found um, that didn't make sense because as he was about to kill her, that black man jumping out, that was just, listen, we saw you use something that looked like Fred Flintstone's club and you smashed his face with that strength on, of yours. He shouldn't be, but maybe they wanted to give her a chance to grab something. I don't know. I think Rick did because his head was, when you do that, you're feeling intense pain. With those people who strike the blow once and they die, like, 
And then Shelly, because even after his neck had been, he was still crawling around looking for help. You know what I mean? He's still, he was still alive, knowing that he's bleeding out and dying, right? So let me know in the comment section who had the most painful death. Can you also predict his killing style? Let me know. And um, if you really know, and it's not a spoiler, is there some spiritual part to this why Jason isn't dying? Like I know he was laying there and I was looking at every part of his body to see if something will switch his finger or something. I was trying to find, but you know, just let me know, let me know. Thank you, Scott. <laughs> Thank you. Um, what else? What else would I say I, that I like? Um, oh, I, this is just a compliment to the women in the video. I like that they were not skinny, skinny, skinny. Like they had flesh, they had body. Not that there's anything wrong with being skinny, but I like seeing, you know, women who have their own flesh and body type. You know, I know that um, Shelly was uncomfortable get it out of your head stop thinking about it i can't I'm thinking of his mom you know i know he was uncomfortable with his size but you know it's it's part of life and he, shelly's face does look very familiar to me like i've seen him as an adult in the movie but i just can't place it let me know rick i don't i've never seen before i don't think i've seen rick before all right until the next <laughs>